Hello everyone. Welcome to this session on Google Cloud Platform website hosting and let's understand what Google Cloud Platform offers when it comes to your web hosting requirements. Here we will learn about Google Cloud web hosting, some basics of cloud computing, web hosting service providers, what is GCP and why go for it, different types of web hosting which are possible, a use case such as Lush, and a quick hands-on on using GCP for web hosting. When you talk about cloud web hosting, Google Cloud has the feature of hosting a secure and reliable websites easily. It ensures customers and sites protection. The website is, a, is hosted on a fast and reliable network. You can do more work for less price with Google Cloud. Now, when we talk about Google Cloud, it is always good to know some basics of our cloud computing. Now, when we talk about cloud computing, cloud computing is basically using resources which are provided by your cloud service provider, such as Google Cloud. And cloud computing basically means using hardware and software components to deliver a service on a network. Now, here users can access files, applications from any device that can access internet. So when we talk about cloud computing, this is basically using services which are hosted on the infrastructure managed by cloud provider. When we talk about resources which can be used that may include big data services, storage options, your computing options, networking options and various other services which a cloud provider offers. Cloud computing has various different service models such as you have platform as a service, software as a service, infrastructure as a service. Also these days we talk about containers as a service and these are your different computing service models which are being offered by cloud service providers which allow you for automatic integration with your existing environment or if you would want to benefit from modernization by using a cloud provider's infrastructure. You have different services which are offered. Some of them are for auto software integration or migration backing up and restoring data, scaling your storage capacity that is going for an unlimited storage capacity and using a resource provided by cloud service provider, benefiting from reliability, cost efficiency, which is offered by a cloud provider. In this case, we are talking about Google Cloud. When you talk about web hosting service providers, there are various web hosting service providers. You have AWS, you have Squarespace, IBM Cloud, GoDaddy, Bluehost and Google Cloud. So what is GCP and why go for it? When you talk about GCP or as we call it as Google Cloud Platform, it is set of cloud computing services provided by Google that runs on the same infrastructure that Google uses for its end user products like YouTube, Gmail and much more. When you talk about GCP, there are various reasons why anyone would choose it for their use cases. Now let's look at some reasons. When you talk about pricing, GCP has better pricing compared to its competitors depending on the services which you would use whether that would be infrastructure as a service, such as using compute engine instances and running your applications on them, or might be a managed service such as data proc or big table or your big query where you can have your Hadoop clusters running or store huge amount of data or even build your data warehouse wherein you can store structured data. So there are different services which GCP offers and pricing has been a better option in case of Google in comparison to other competitors. When you talk about speed and performance, it's very fast and increases the performance of your project if you use different services offered by Google. When you talk about live migration of apps, this is one of the features which 
organizations usually like which none of other competitors are offering when it comes to live migration of apps so there are specific features for example when you talk about computer engine there is a feature stating live migration wherein your resources or your instances which are running applications would be migrated during say maintenance from one underlying host to another underlying host without affecting your applications performance and you can benefit from that when you talk about big data google cloud has various offerings in big data space and that's one of the advantages of gcp in comparison to other competitors you have different services for your big data needs such as pub sub for publish subscribing messaging system or going for data proc which basically allows you to spin up your hadoop and spark clusters to run your different jobs and so on so when we talk about features of google cloud platform it offers high productivity because you are using the resources which are based on the same infrastructure which google uses for its own different use cases you can work from anywhere provided you have internet connection and you can connect to the cloud platform and use different services offered via web you can quickly collaborate with different teams or different colleagues working on different projects which might be sharing or using different gcp resources you are benefiting from high security and different encryption and security mechanisms which gcp offers now there are fewer sources or you could say data which is stored on vulnerable devices there is high reliability flexibility or scalability which gcp offers and the cost effectiveness really makes it as a good choice when you would want to benefit from infrastructure modernization and using a cloud platform solution for your use case now when you talk about different types of web hosting Google Cloud offers three types of web hosting. You have WordPress. Now it is a free and open source content management system. You might have used in past or have heard about WordPress where a lot of websites are being created. It is a popular web publishing platform to easily set up blogs and websites and thus used by organizations or even individual users for having their blogs or running their websites or promoting their products. You have LAMP, which stands for Linux, Apache, MySQL, and PHP. And LAMP stack consists of Linux, Apache HTTP server, MySQL, and PHP, and is used to host websites and web applications. You also have your option of building your own website. So you can develop website or web application with your own code directly on Compute Engine. Now let's look at a use case and understand what happened here when we talk about Lush. So Lush was founded in 1995. It's, you might have seen this brand somewhere in the streets. It is a global cosmetics retailer headquartered in UK. It sells a diverse range of fresh handmade products. Lush had become a global brand with over 930 stores in 49 countries. So the challenges which were faced here was traffic on Boxing Day caused website crash for almost 18 hours. And this is something which had a devastating effect on their business. The previous platform had no scalability option. What was the solution? The movement of website during the peak time was easy due to flexibility of GCP platform. With rapid VM deployment on Google Compute Engine, the environments were monitored and destroyed in minutes so the team could test and deploy at speed. By using Google Cloud SQL, Lush took complete control of its infrastructure and optimized its systems for effective scaling. Overall, the platform resulted in lower cost that led to a bright future for Lush Cosmetics. Now, what was the result of all this? The availability during peak loads was improved because of Google Compute Engine's auto-scaling feature. The infrastructure hosting costs were reduced by 40%. Streamline data center usage from 5 to 3 with Google's high-quality private network really benefited Lush and it provided a flexible architecture and scalability for future business growth. Now, what we have seen here is that 
your Google Cloud and its web hosting basically offers users to run their websites or use a web hosting solution that can benefit in more than one way. The simplest approach could be seen is by clicking and setting up a VM instance by going to your console. For example, if we go in to the Google Cloud platform, clicking on console, and here the easiest way I could test it is by going to my compute engine, VM instances, and here I can spin up an instance. I can click on create. Now in my previous sessions, I have also explained about how you could create a template and run an instance from that. We can also click on new VM instance. Let's call it new instance. I will choose a region. For example, Frankfurt, I will let it be general purpose machines. Let this machine be one virtual CPU core and 3.75 gigabyte RAM. If I'm looking for a heavier website, which might have more users logging in and so on, then I can choose a higher configuration machine. Here we have the option to choose our distribution. So for example, I can choose Ubuntu and then I can choose a distribution version so it let it be 16.04 we can choose the disk size to be 20 gigabyte and we can use ssds or hdds so as of now it is standard persistent disk that is hdd and that should be enough let's click on select here i will say allow default access i would say allow http and https so that if i have a website content hosted on this machine i can access it over http now here you have management options for your instance you have security option which basically allows you to provide a public key if you are interested in using an external ssh client to connect now i have used putty gen and i have already created a private key which is here i have also converted that as a pem file and anytime if i would want to use this key all I need to do is click on putty gen where I had earlier created this PPK file. Now I can just do a load and I can choose the key which I have here and I can give the pass face, click on OK and that shows you the public key. Let's copy the public key from here. Let's go into our instance and I can give this here that resolves the name. So I have the private key saved on my machine and public key which will be pushed into the machine i can click on create and that should create my instance to which you can connect using ssh from the console itself or using a external client such as putty which will then need the public ip of this instance the ppk file what we have and you can connect to this instance what i can also do is i can just do a simple ssh from here and that will basically allow me to connect to the instance. What we also need to remember is each instance what we create in compute is also having some default firewall rules. Now I have connected to my instance. I can click on sudo su. I can log in as root. And here if I would want I can install a particular service. So let's say Apache. Uh, let's say apt-get install and then I can say Apache 2 or HTTPD that is basically to host your web application. So I'm installing this service and here I can check if the service is running by doing a service HTTPD status or I can say service Apache 2 status which says it is already running. That means the Apache web server page will be accessible from HTTP provided my firewall rules allow that. Now before we look into this, we can also for our instance look at the firewall rules. So here you have network details. Now since we created an instance by default, Google has created some firewall rules which allow default HTTP, HTTPS, ICMP, your default internal access, RDP and SSH access and here it says these ingress rules which allow incoming traffic are allowed from anywhere we can customize that at specific ip addresses we can also look at egress which is basically outgoing traffic and this is again saying my machine can connect to the external world in different ways using different protocols so you can customize these firewall rules as of now i'm going to let it be default 
now we connected to our instance from the browser and we were basically checking how you can use this browser by clicking on this now what i can also do is here i'm logged into the instance my apache server is running so the best way to check if the apache web server is accessible via http all i need is my public ip so let's copy this let's go here and i will say http slash slash just give your public ip and that shows your apache to web server page that means the apache service has already been run now here it tells if you would want to host a particular page what you will have to do is as it says here it is based on equivalent page on debian from which ubuntu apache packaging is derived if you can read this page it means apache http server is installed at this site is working properly now you can replace this file located at var www.html index.html before continuing to operate your http server so this is where you can change the particular page and you will be able to host your web site on this particular ec2 instance what we can do is we can check this so we can go into the browser and we can look in var www and that has an html folder look into this and as of now you have a index dot html and that basically is the page what we are seeing now i can click on this one and i can see i have a small html page which is basically showing me what we are seeing on our web server what i can also do is for now i can test it out and i can put in a different html page and see how that works so we had basically the page here in var www and then we had the html folder and in html folder what i had was this index file so as of now i just moved it and i put it in a different location so if i look in my home hdu index.html that shows me the complete html page what we were seeing on our web server and here it shows you what this page would display if you run it on your http it says apache 2 ubuntu default page it shows it works it shows the content and so on so for just testing i moved this page out from this location and what i did was i added a different page here so that page if you look in html and then look in my page.html section i've just added some basic details of creating html i'm saying body i'm using marquee and then i'm closing this with html tag now this is a simple html page which i created and now what i did was once i've done this i basically did a service apache restart so once you do that it will take up your new page and once you have done that now you can access that by going to your http given your details and then basically give your public ip which we can get from here and just paste it here now hit on this so that shows me there is a mypage.html i can click on this and that basically shows the symbol page which i created so as of now this is my web page which i have created and this is hosted on my compute instance now obviously we can create a more complex website backed up by a database use php use mysql to store the data and then host your website on a google cloud platform service such as compute where your actual code is running so we can learn about your web hosting on compute instances in further sessions thank you keep learning hi there if you like this video subscribe to the simply learn youtube channel and click here to watch similar videos to nerd up and get certified click here